So if you've been living on another planet, you might not know what a Godwink is. So just in case, take a look. A man takes a long road trip with his family and stops at a random gas station. As he walks past the payphone, it rings. He answers. It's for him. An airman becomes a prisoner of war in Vietnam. While he endures six years of harsh captivity, a 16-year-old cheerleader prays for him every night. 40 years later, their paths cross in a 55,000-seat baseball stadium. According to best-selling author Squire Rushnell, these aren't mere coincidences, but divine appointments. He calls them Godwinks. Please welcome back to the 700 Club, a dear friend, Squire Rushnell. It's so great to have oh, you here. Oh, good morning, Terry. You have just really I blessed people with this whole realization and understanding of Godwinks, those moments where God speaks to you, ordains yeah. circumstances that just meet a need right in a moment where you're looking yeah. for a word or a hope? Well, you know, God does talk to us in so many different ways, and God winks is just one of them. Yes. And it's these little experiences that happen to absolutely everyone. And my job, I feel like God winks are like gifts left on the doorstep. Mm -hmm. And my job is to get you to open the door and open your gift. Yeah. And, and they're find there. a wonderful surprise inside. Oh, there are. And, you know, and, and biblically it says, acknowledge me yeah. and I will direct your paths. Amen. Now, if you acknowledge the God winks that are in your life, they are the signposts along the way. Just acknowledging those signposts and God will direct your path. And you know, when you start to do that, it's like your antenna begins to go up, don't yeah. you think? And you start to notice more and more places oh, where yeah. God is speaking to you, showing you something, encouraging you. The more you, you see God winks, the more you see them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about your newest book, God Winks Stories. This is a devotional. How is it different from the other books that you wrote? Well, uh, all the books have messages of encouragement and stories from people, but this little book has stories directly from me. These are the actual stories of the people, the letters that they have written, and my wonderful wife, Louise, who you happen to yes, know very well. She did all of the uh, biblical teachings for the books. And so every story has a biblical foundation and they are very snackable. Mm -hmm. There are 52 little stories in here and you can read one before you go to bed every night or uh, well, to sit down and read the whole book. Give us one right now. Talk about the Roma Downey and the, oh, her yeah. story in the book. Well, Roma, I, we love Roma Downey. And we all remember her from Touched by an yes. Angel. And that show was seen by 20 million people uh, households uh, when it was on the air. And she used to frequently visit uh, children's hospitals. And one day she was in the hospital and she was walking down the hall and she saw a bereaved mother coming from the room being supported by a nurse and uh, her tears were streaming down her face and Roma could see past a lifeless body was on the bed beyond uh, a child had just been lost. And at that moment, the mother's eyes connected with Roma and her face turned, turned to hope. And she said, there you are. <laughs> I asked God to send me an angel and there you are. Now, Roma said, I wanted to say, no, 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 no. I'm just yeah. an actress. I'm not really, I'm not really an angel. I just play an angel on TV. But she simply reached out and hugged the woman and said, let me pray with you. Mm. She went outside after a few minutes and she called her friend Della Reese, her confidant right away and said, Della, I feel like such a fraud. I mean, there was a, a vulnerable mother and, and she thought that God had sent me to comfort her. And Della Reese said, honey, what makes you think he didn't? Sometimes we have to get out of the way and let God use us mm -hmm. to channel his grace. And that is exactly what happened. That was a wonderful God wink in that experience for, for Roma and for the mother. Actually, we're supposed to live like that. Yes, we are. Every day. Yes. Do you have a favorite story in the book? Well, I, I like the story about Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy was heartbroken when he got the call that his mother 
in the nursing home uh, that that it was time for them to rush. Mm -hmm. That and the call came from hospice, and so all of the family had gathered there, and they all went into the room to be with his mother, and he just couldn't bear to go into the room with his mom mm -hmm. and see see her in that state as his last memory. And he sat down in a seat in the hallway feeling such terrible guilt yeah. that he wasn't going in and he was saying, oh God, I hope that she doesn't think terribly of me, but I just can't bear to do this. Mm -hmm. And he was so torn. But at that moment, there was a wonderful God wink. Over the speaker system came a song, a very rare song. It was the song that his mother used to sing to him. And the words really? were, goodbye, Jimmy, goodbye. I'll see you again. I don't know when. Goodbye, wow. Jimmy. Goodbye. And he felt the peace mm -hmm. that surpassed all understanding. Yeah. And that's how God communicates through these little God winks, moments of just comfort and reassurance. Yeah. You have always brought that to us with your God wink books, and and you've had you, you have a, a tenderness toward that that touches all of us, and I think brings encouragement to people. Mm -hmm. I want folks to know that uh, this is just a. A next, the next one in the New York Times bestseller <laughs> Godwink series. It's called Godwink Stories, a devotional, and it is a great thing to put on your bedstand, to put yeah. next to your your reading chair, wherever it is you sit down and want to enjoy an encouraging word about God's faithfulness. It's available wherever books are sold. Thank you. Oh, Wonderful thank to you, have Terry. you here. Good to see you.